hi guys welcome to a new video so this video is going to be an easter special video if you're celebrating easter happy easter to you and if you're new to my channel don't fail to subscribe hit that notification bell you can check my channel page there are like 80 plus video i think i'm nearing to 90 now and you know click whatever video you like whatever you su uh, suits your boat and support my channel so without wasting any time let's get started with this video let's get with the preparation here i have my dark chocolate compound i'm going to keep that aside with this i'm going to use cadbury dairy milk silk so that that added sweetness is there while i prepare the egg shell so before anything else let's get chopping i have taken this portion so we'll chop away the entire portion and once we are done chopping the dark compound i'm going to chop the cadbury dairy milk silk the reason why i'm adding cadbury dairy milk silk is i'm going to use that as a base for sweetening the whole eggshell i'm not going to add any other sugar component to the eggshell taken this steel container steel pot small pot which i am going to add to a double boiler so that all of the chocolate is well melted and i'm ready to use them for preparing the eggshell i have eggshell liners bought just for 15 rupees at arif la mold they sell all the baking items so i got the eggshell liners from there I should not have kept this for boiling for too long you know once it was completely melted at a room temperature I should have let it sit there but the boiling went on for too long somehow I managed to prepare the eggshells but they were melting at room temperature so I had to freeze them at all time and while I was closing the eggs I was using my fingers to warm up the borders and put them in place that's where everything went wrong but anyhow I managed the yeast eggs it is mango season i managed a mango cake and everybody really liked it let's get with the preparation here i have scooped out mango from a fresh mango and you know i hope i'm making sense i scooped out all the pulp from the mango and i've kept it collected here i'm going to add stevia we are not going to use as much sugar although i am going to be adding sugar i'm adding stevia 20 sachets of small packets of stevia stevia is a plant-based sweetener although it has no calories or sucrose in it so it's like zero everything zero just like water to this i'm going to add egg yolks i'm going to separate the whites and keep them aside i'm just going to add four egg yolks and we are going to beat it together until it is well combined for the whole baking preparation i'm not using margarine or butter i'm using one full cup of oil so that everything is moist and well combined here i'm using my egg beater and let's get you know beat the beating process so that everything is well combined and creamy Previously I have already sieved the flour and I am just tossing whatever I have collected in the paper and we are going to combine all of that flour so that you know we have that batter like consistency and since the batter was like super thick I had to add a little bit of water to this. You can add milk but I didn't choose milk this is like a lactose free baking so I just added water so that it is well incorporated and we have a creamy batter mm -hmm. 
it's no baking if you haven't added one teaspoon of baking soda and baking powder so that is what i'm doing here one teaspoon baking soda and baking powder and we can continue with the blending in a separate container we are going to beat the egg whites so we are going to beat these egg whites until we get stiff peaks once we are done with the egg whites we are going to add the egg whites to the yellow batter while i was beating the egg whites i had kept sugar syrup for preparation on the stove so we are going to slowly add the hot sugar syrup and i will continue with the beating because if i stop the beating it will cook my egg whites and i don't want that so simultaneously i'm adding sugar syrup and beating the egg whites and this is going to slowly form stiff peaks and we will get that added sweetening when you get that swirl like pattern in your egg whites you know that your egg whites are almost done almost ready so that's how the egg whites look it needs a little more beating until beating is in blending we are not beating the shit out of this egg whites we are blending so once it's all blended and well incorporated the swirls become more visible that's how you know stick feet stick peaks are ready to form my yellow batter we are going to add the egg whites and we are going to fold portion by portion we will add and we will fold so that you know we get our cake all light and fluffy Here I have my three baking tins all prepared. I have oiled them and added parchment paper so that the cake comes off easily. This extra pulp is for my frosting icing whipped cream. This is my favorite whipped cream. It is a dairy-free brand. The brand is Tropolite. It's my favorite whipped cream. We are going to add that to a bowl. and it's been freezing in my freezer for like a day one full day to my whipped cream i'm going to add food coloring food coloring was previously added for my cake batter too so that i have that yellow like color you know mangoes are yellow so uh so is my cake going to be yellow i have not added sugar to my whipped cream my whipped cream is already sweet to a steel plate we are going to coat some of my frosting and on top of the frosting we are going to place one layer of the cake and that's how we are going to proceed with the second layer and the third layer once we are done with that we are going to coat the entire frosting through throughout on the sides on the top until the bottom wholly covered in frosting I am not a professional baker and my baking is very simple home like I am not doing this for the presentation or to show that my exquisite baking skills but you know I bake just like a home baker just for my family because my family enjoys my baking
Easter you guys I hope you like my Easter egg I don't really know how well it has gone but you know what it's not a complete fail it is still the Easter egg I was hoping for maybe next time I'll make a perfect Easter egg but the temperature is really high so you know the temperature kind of messed my egg and then next time you just use compound chocolate all in all Easter celebration is on To the heated pot we are going to add some oil let the oil seat we want the oil also to heat up we are going to add some round pepper once we are done with round pepper this is the spice time so we are going to add all of the spices the ground pepper is going to crackle like that and we are going to add some cloves and once we are done with cloves we are going to add a cinnamon stick okay so this is a cinnamon stick it looks like a cuban cigar but it's not a cuban cigar i'm going to break it so once it's broken we are going to add that to to the oil and we are going to let you know all the flavors come out in that oil then we are going to saute obviously we are going to add some half cut chilies the onions this is going to add some additional flavor while I'm doing the voiceover too, my mouth is watering because I love something spicy and savory. So we are going to mix this and then we are going to add some spring onions. You can add spring onions or you can add a tomato. I chose spring onions. I don't really like that tomato like feel. Sometimes I do add tomatoes but this time I added spring onions and we are going to add some ginger garlic paste. I know this looks like the poop emoji but believe me it's ginger garlic paste. It's not poop. Well I know it's food item. I should not be talking about poop. Okay so we are going to let this saute you know mix once we are. I'm telling you this pulao is like even a poor man's best friend. This is so simple you know you're going to feel rich with the pulao obviously you can add some pickle and you can add even uh, a fried chicken and you have the best rich men's food at your table okay once the saute is done we are going to add some water i'm going to add some broth that's the broth and we are going to let this sit we are going to add some salt and while the water is boiling we are going to add our rice and i've chosen the long grain rice basmati rice and we are going to add that while we are done adding we are going to cover the pot and let it sit you know i have uh, done like a large quantity over here we had to store some for dinner this was actually for lunch we had to store some for dinner but you know pulao is pulao and i prepare the tastiest pulao Okay, while the water is like semi dry, I'm going to add frozen peas because frozen peas are kind of soft already, so you don't want to overcook or overboil them. So we are going to add that. We are going to slightly mix so that everything is well combined, and you know, the peas just don't remain on the top or don't completely go to the bottom. We are going to combine them properly, and then we are going to add a little bit more water. We are going to spread that out and close the lid let it cook for a little while and we are done pulao is ready enjoy okay you guys that's all for this video i hope you like my cooking spree i leave to eat so basically my celebration was about cooking everything and anything easter related so you know my family really enjoyed the mango cake the easter eggs although not a complete fail was really good and you know my plain pulao Hope you liked it. 
don't fail to again subscribe hit that notification bell until then bye